Hey everyone! Welcome back to Baby Stuff, your trusted resource for all things parenting. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a long-time subscriber, we're thrilled to have you with us. Today we're diving into a topic that's essential for every parent of toddlers, the three things you should never say to your toddler, and what you can say instead. Communication with toddlers is a delicate art. Every word we utter can influence their emotional development, their sense of self, and their ability to navigate the world. That's why it's so crucial to choose our words wisely, especially during those challenging moments that every parent faces. So without further ado, let's jump into the first major no-no. The first phrase to avoid is stop crying. It's a natural reaction. Your toddler is wailing, you might be in a public place, and your first instinct is to just make it stop. However, telling a toddler to stop crying can make them feel like their feelings are not valid or important. Instead, when you see those tears start to flow, kneel down to their level and say, I see you're upset. Do you want to talk about what's making you sad? This not only shows empathy, but also encourages your child to articulate their feelings. It helps them develop emotional intelligence, which is key in their overall development. Moving on to the second phrase you should steer clear of, let me do it. This one is tough because let's face it, toddlers aren't exactly efficient. When you're rushing to get out the door, it can be tempting to just tie those shoes, button those buttons, and do everything else for them. But this approach can inadvertently undermine your child's growing sense of independence and capability. Instead, try saying, it's great to try it on your own, but I'm right here if you need help. This statement supports their efforts and keeps them motivated while still providing a safety net to ensure that the task gets done. It's about striking a balance between fostering independence and providing support. Lastly, let's talk about a common phrase that many of us use. You're okay. Whether it's a scraped knee or a bumped head, our instinct is to reassure our child that everything is fine. However, this can sometimes dismiss their pain and lead them to question their own feelings. A more effective approach is to acknowledge what they've experienced by saying, that was a big fall. How do you feel? This opens up a dialogue and gives them permission to explore and express their emotions, whether they're physical or emotional. It validates their experience and reassures them that it's okay to seek comfort. Each of these alternatives provides your toddler with the tools they need to handle their emotions constructively and feel secure in expressing themselves. These conversations build a foundation for strong communication skills as they grow. Now, implementing these changes won't always be easy. It takes practice and patience. You might find yourself slipping back into old habits when you're tired or stressed, and that's okay. Parenting is a journey, not a destination. The important thing is to keep trying to be as consistent as possible and to forgive yourself for the inevitable slip-ups. Remember, the goal isn't to be a perfect parent, but a thoughtful and responsive one. To help you remember these tips, Think about the long-term benefits of using supportive and validating language with your child. Picture your toddler as a teenager and then as an adult. The skills you're instilling now, emotional regulation, independence, communication, are skills they'll use for life. They'll face challenges, interact with others, and navigate their own big emotions much more effectively because of the foundation you're building today. So try these phrases out the next time your toddler is in a tough spot. Observe how they respond differently when you validate their feelings versus when you dismiss them. Take note of their increasing attempts at independence when you encourage them to try things on their own and be there to help when they need it. We'd love to hear how it goes. Share your experiences in the comments below. What worked? What didn't? Do you have other phrases that have been effective? Your insights not only help us shape future content, but also create a community of supportive, informed parents right here on this channel. Thanks for tuning in today. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with other parents. It's a great way to support our channel and help other families find supportive tips and strategies. We're here every week with new content aimed at making your parenting journey a bit easier and a lot more rewarding. Until next time, Keep striving to communicate better with your little ones. It's one of the most precious gifts you can give them, shaping how they'll communicate with the world as they grow. Happy parenting, and we'll see you in our next video.